So in this video I'm going to look at some of the rules that govern interactions between particles and how you can work out the particles that can be produced by an interaction and ones that can't. So then, and then we're going to look at show, demonstrating conservation of the different properties. So first of all let's have a look at some of the properties that must be conserved in, well, in every situation you think of. So there are three that you may well have come across for. Conservation of energy, conservation of charge, and conservation of momentum. And we certainly look at more at momentum in A2. It's not too much in the AS, although it will be from the in the next couple of years. But particularly with particle physics, there's two other things, key things that you need to know are conserved, and that's baryon number, and that's the lepton number. And those also must be conserved in all interactions. Now, Properties that are sometimes conserved. Now, probably in the past, you actually always said that mass is conserved. But when we look at Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, that actually tells us that mass can be interchangeable with energy. So that's not always the case, though it is quite often. And also, strangeness is not necessarily always conserved. But it is conserved if the interaction is through the strong nuclear force. So that's something to look out for as to the, the, the interaction that's going on, because that tells you whether or not you need to conserve strangeness. So let's have a look at conservation of charge, and when I do that I'm going to show you the prop where how you need to go out demonstrating whether it's conserved or not. So we look at conservation of charge, so what you do is you write the property of each of the particles underneath them. So this is mu minus, which means it has charge of minus one, and that's going to an electron, which clearly has a negative charge, that's minus one. A neutrino, well, its name gives you a clue as to its charge. And an anti-neutrino, again, same. So then you, if we basically collect all the terms together on each side, we've got minus one and minus one. So you can clearly show that charge is conserved. Okay? And those are the steps that you need to go through to demonstrate conservation of a property. It's not simple enough just to say, I can see from both sides. Those are the steps that you need to go through. Now we're going to have a look at this one down here. So I'm going to draw that one off. So I'm going to do this short because I want to get onto this one later on because it's not too rare. So we've got minus one on the left and minus one on the right. So as far as charge is concerned, this interaction, or in this case a decay, because it's only got one thing on the left hand side, is possible. But I'm going to move on later on when I look at lepton number to show why this isn't. So, but just in from a ter from terms of charge, this is possible. Okay, so let's move. On. Okay, so I said before a quark has a baryon number of a third. So a proton, which is made up of three quarks, has a baryon number of three times a third or one. So a proton has a baryon number of one. Now an antiproton is made of three antiquarks, and an antiquark has a baryon number of minus a third, so three of those gives you minus one. Okay. Now a pion is made of a quark and an antiquark, so it's effectively a baryon number of plus a third, minus a third, which cancel each other out, and you get left with zero. So whatever kind of pion you have, or kaon for instance, is going to have baryon number of zero, because it's not a baryon, so it can't have a baryon number. So again we collect those together, so 1 minus 1 gives you 0, and that goes to 0, so your baryon number is conserved. Okay, so let's have a look at this one at the bottom. Again, the only same process, we've got 1 plus minus 1, so that's the same as before, and then we've got 1 plus 0, so you've got 0 going to 1, so you've got your, I'm just going to do this in shorthand because I'm running out of space, but you should not do that because you should make it clear. Variable number is not conserved. So that's an interaction that could not happen. And actually looking a bit at this process, we've got a proton and an antiproton, and this is actually an annihilation. So the annihilation of these two would produce photons, and then pe pair production in theory could occur, but obviously this isn't a pair, which is why this is an interaction that can occur. So this one here at the bottom cannot happen, this one at the top can happen. Let's come back to this one we were looking at earlier and look at it in terms of lepton number. So if we just look at pure lepton numbers, so we've got a lepton going to a lepton and another lepton and then an anti-lepton, so that one has minus one. 
So on the face of it, you've got one going to one, so that works. However, this interaction does not happen in nature, because lepton number is a little bit more complicated than that. You remember when we looked at leptons in the video, you had muon types, you had tau types, and you had electron types. And when you're looking at conservation, you need to conserve each of these types. So if I ever look at the muon one, first of all, so on the top we've got a muon, so that's got muon lepton number of 1. That's an electron, that's not a muon type, so obviously it has a 0. You've got 0, and then you've got an anti-muon type, so that's got minus 1. So you've got 1 going to minus 1, so your muon lepton number is not conserved. And that's why this interaction does not occur, because the muon lepton number is not conserved. If you check the electron lepton number, you'd see it goes from 0 to 2. Again, not conserved. So you have to be a bit more detailed with your lepton number and conserve specific types of leptons. So you have to check each of these three properties, the muon lepton number, the tau lepton number, and the electron lepton number, conserved. Although, as I said before in the other video, the AS spec is not really that concerned with the tau-type neutrinos.